In today's game, we take on Altrinham in our 20th league game of the season. Can we get a win to start an unlikely playoff push in today's episode of Walks to the Prem? Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number 5. Four of the Kingsland Walks to Prem save here on FM20. And like I said in the intro, we've got Altrinham in today's game. We're round about in similar places in the league. I'll show you the league table in a second after I've shown you how we've got on. But just before I do that, we've got one little bit of transfer news that I want to bring to you. We've signed a backup keeper. Oliver Byrne, I think that's how you say his name, 21-year-old English goalkeeper, three-star current, four, maybe five-star potential ability. He looks okay. He looks decent. I brought him in because I'm not really convinced on our main keeper, Alex Street, at the moment. He's been making quite a few errors, letting in quite a few goals. So, yeah, thought I'd bring him in. He looks good airily, but... Everything else doesn't really look the best, but he's still young. You never know. Give him a year or so. He might develop into something a little bit better. And so with that out of the way, let's go and show you how we've been getting on since I was last with you, which was for the disappointing defeat against Boston United. 3-2 we lost that game. We was 3-0 down within 33 minutes. And yet got it back to 3-2. Maybe a draw might have been a nice result, but it was not to be. And so, following that, we had a 1-0 win against Spennymore Town. And 1-0 win. Chris Henderson with quite a nice goal from the left-hand side. So, I was very happy with that. He got man of the match, so I was very happy with his performance. And then after that, we started, or carried on even, I should say, in our FA Cup adventure. We drew 1-1 with Kettering. In the 92nd minute, we got our equaliser. Absolutely last minute, last kick of the game. I was thinking, oh my days, we're going to fail on the club vision target spectacularly. The target was to get to the first round proper of the FA Cup. We carried on, like I say, with the last minute equaliser there. And then four days later, we played Kettering at home. And this time, we made no mistake. We got the win. 2-1 on the night. Rory McCauley, our defender, scoring their goal. So we scored all three goals in the game. And yeah, we looked very, very much the better team. And so I was very happy with that performance as well there. And following on that, 2-0 against Geisley. Ryan Jarvis and our star striker Adam Marriott with the goals, both before the half-time whistle. And yeah, we dominated this game. Geisley did not look all that impressive at all. Sorry, Dazman, if you are watching. But yeah, we gave your boys a hell of a beating. And following on from that, 0-0 against Darlington. I was thinking about recording this game, but you'll be glad I didn't because it was an absolutely atrocious game. Decent attendance though. 1,100. Not a bad amount for down this level, I believe. So, they'll be happy with that, but the performance of both teams was just very poor. And so, we'll move on quickly. And, yep. We failed the club vision target. We did not get into the first round of the FA Cup, but I think Braintree cheated. You know why I think Braintree cheated? This fella here, Philippe. Philippe, he's a Brazilian. He is a Brazilian playing down at, at non-league level in England. What is he doing with his life? How have Braintree got a Brazilian playing for him? That is just cheating. That should be against the rules. And you can't have anybody being that skillful down this level. It's just not on. And so, they won that game 2-1. Philippe and Jason Banton with the goals for them. Harry Lim, our youngster, who has come into the team. And he scored a few goals. I have a look at his profile. 
in a minute. But yeah, I'm very happy with how he's been doing since he's come into the team. And he's got our goal there. And then this game, 5-3 versus Gloucester. Absolute madness of a game. Harry Lim again getting two for us. Jones getting one in the 90th minute, which actually pulled it back to, what was it, 4-3. So, gave us a little bit of hope. But they, of course, scored there, as you can see, in the last minute to absolutely make sure that they won the game. And yeah, it was just a mad game. Just seemed like every single shot hit the back of the net. It was a lot of fun to watch if you was a neutral, but our defending has just been terrible. So, yeah, not happy with that one. And after that, Alfie Payne, the guy we've got on loan from Norwich. He got us a couple of goals in this one. All the goals come in before half-time. Alfie Payne with a goal in the 6th and the 38th minute. Jack Burrows with one in the 31st minute. That did make it 1-1 at the time, but we was able to win the game. Payne with a 9.1 rating. Very, very happy with how he played there. And then Gateshead. Again, Harry Lim with the goal to win it for us. 1-0. Very decent performance there. But then we went three games in the league without a win. And we conceded 12 goals in those games. Only getting five back. 6-2 uh, against Chester. This was the first game where we really started looking at Alex Street. And I really started going, mm, are you really good enough for us? And yeah, 6-2, absolutely bossed, absolutely dominated. Only player to come out with any credit is Harry Lim out of that game. And then York, Alfie Payne again with a goal. He's been chipping in with quite a few. Now the season has got going. But yet we lost that one. Tom Crawford, Paddy McLaughlin with both the goals for them. And then Brackley, Sam Kelly and Adam Marriott with the two for us. Lee and Love with a hat-trick there. Didn't realise he got a hat-trick on the day. So, very, very good performance from him. He might be someone we want to shortlist, actually. So, let's go shortlist him. So, I don't forget about him. And the other one, Josh DeBeo. In the 82nd minute, just to absolutely wrap up the game. And, yeah, our defence really, really needs to improve. If anybody knows any good defenders for down this level... Let me know in the comments or on Twitter, please, because I would love some help. And then we had a couple games against Oxford in the FA Trophy. Drew the first game 2-2. They did to us what we did to, uh, who was it we did it to? Kettering, wasn't it, in the FA Cup. They got an equaliser with the last kick of the game to force extra time. There was not a winner in that in that extra time period. So it went to a replay. And then we did win the replay 1-0 against Oxford. Harry Lim with the goal in the first minute. And that leads us to where we are today. And before the game starts today, we are in 13th in the league. Six points off the playoffs. So it's still doable. We've still got over half the season to go. So you never know, could get an unlikely playoff push. But, 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 we have got a couple of injuries, which does mean that we are going with this new tactic for the game today. Street in goal, Swain, McCauley, Smith and Webb as our back four, Jordan Richards as our anchor man, Payne and Clunan in the middle of the park. Kelly and Hawkins as our advanced wingers. And Michael Gass is our only striker who is fit at the moment. So he goes up top on his own. Harry Lim, our youngster, is out for in between 10 days and 3 weeks. Adam Marriott is just coming back off a 2-week injury, I think it was. Let's have a look. Uh, injury history. How long was he out for? Uh, yeah, he's, he's had a couple of knocks. So, yeah, he's not exactly fit. So, he's he's being rested. Spy Rides is coming off a long-term injury as well. He's been injured for two months. 
So he should hopefully be back soon, but not in time for today's game, unfortunately. So I've got a lot of defenders on my bench. I did just let my assistant pick this team from the new from the new suggested squad feature. So yeah, yeah, he's picked a lot of defenders. I don't really want that. Let's get Aaron Jones off and see if we can chuck anybody else on. There's nobody else fit. Jesus Christ, I right, well, I'm going to change him for Ross Barrows. He's another youngster, but he's fit. So, yeah. I'm not feeling all that confident for this game, if I'm going to be honest, people. The bookies have got Ultranum as the favourites, as you might expect. They're 6-4 to four to win the game. They've had recent inconsistent form, so you never know. Might be able to get at them, as they've played Curzon Aston three games in a row. Wow. A couple of them must have been in the trophy. Because that is a mad run of games. And so, yeah, I'm going to do... What do I want to do for a prediction? We're playing quite cautiously. So I'm going to say... Unfortunately, I'm going to say 1-1 one, one draw. I was thinking 0-0, nil, nil, but I'm hoping for goals. I want to have some goals for you boys and girls. And here we are. Ultranum are playing with a 4-2-3-1 wide. Uh, no players there I recognise. If there's any here that any of you boys know about... Please do let me know. And so, yeah, I'm going to go 1-1 one, one draw. Let's get into the team talk. And assistant is giving instructions to two alternate players. And uh, da, 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 assertive. Uh, let's go and cause an upset. No reaction. There's a lot more to come from you. Nope. These boys, seriously, are they deaf? I'm, I'm going to take them to Blooming Specsavers for the old hearing aid test at the minute. Finally, Michael Gass has opened his ears and decided to listen to us. First highlight of the game, 13 minutes in. Ultron and playing the ball long. Webb, our man, gets it back. Smith plays it long, but to absolutely nobody in a blue shirt. It's just ping-ponging about between the teams at the moment. Walters heads the ball in and that goes easily to street. Surely that can't be the whole highlight. You would hope not. As now street throws the ball, goes quite long, tries for the Peter Sir Michael throw, but it doesn't come off. Richards to Clunan. And now out wide, yep, Hawkins win it. He needs Gas to start making a run into the box, but we go in instead centrally. And now Hawkins again with the ball, Clunan. To Payne, we're keeping the ball quite nicely here. And Kelly's in, and Kelly has scored his third goal of the season. And that was a very nice passing move. I'm very happy with that goal. I was not expecting quite as good a move as that from this tactic. But oh, that was very nice. Kelly, with the first time shot, passed the keeper, who... Did pretty much nothing. And now 22 minutes into the game. Hawkins with the ball. Plays it to Clunan. And Clunan, can he go wide? Nope, he goes to Payne. Who goes back to McCauley. Who goes over the top. And Kelly's in. Kelly's in. He's got this ball. Can he cross it in? He beats a man. Crosses it in. And it's 2-0. Michael Gass making it 2-0 to the Linnets. Oh my gosh. I, I may have just accidentally come up with a wonder tactic. Because I'm wondering how this is working so well. Oh my days. Kelly beating his man beautifully there. And Gas with a header. And the keeper tried his best. But just a bit too much oomph on that ball to keep it out. 35 minutes in now. Kelly with the ball back to McCauley. He goes long, and Kelly's onto this again. This is very nice stuff. He squared it, though. But Gash has got it. <laughs> oh, my days. Three. Three nil. Gas with two. He's doubled his amount of goals for the season. This is beautiful stuff. McCauley with the long ball there. Kelly beats his man. Squares it. The defender, we did get quite lucky there, to be fair. The defender absolutely made a hash of doing whatever he was doing with that ball. And Gaz nicked in and put it home. And wow, that 
is half time, people. We are 3 0 up at Altrinum. They've had 14 shots, 4 on target, and 54% of the ball. Whereas we've had 7 shots with 6 on target, and obviously 46% of the ball. So they can maybe count themselves a little bit unlucky that they haven't at least scored one or two, you would think. But wow, what a performance. Let's go and tell the lads I am absolutely loving this. Please keep it going, boys. All right, we're 25 minutes into the second half. No highlights as of yet. And so we're just making a couple of changes. We're bringing our youngster, Ross Barrows, in at right back. Just to give him a bit of game time, a bit of experience. We're 3-0 up, shouldn't be throwing this game away. So I think it's a very good time to give him some game time, give him a bit of experience, like I say. And then we're bringing on Jarvis as well for Ryan Hawkins. Hawkins is the one player in our attack who hasn't really had the best of games. So we're going to see what Jarvis can do for the last 20-odd minutes of the game. Five minutes left of the second half, and we've finally got a highlight here in the second half. And now it's Alderham coming forward with the ball, but we win it back. Swain tries to go over the top, but nobody is there for it. And now Densmore with the ball into Moult, goes wide to Hampson. He's on the edge of the box, goes for the long shot, and that goes over the bar. Oh, I've, I've just been caught out. I've just been caught out. I honestly thought this was going to be the last end of game highlight. But it wasn't. Look at that for a goal. I'm going to show you it again. Because that was not the best camera angle. Let's see if I can pause this. Can I change the camera angle here? I've not tried to do a replay in ages. Replay camera, director, TV. And let's see if this is a better highlight. Better angle even. Because, wow, this was an absolutely stupendous goal. Here we go. Rickman with the ball. Played it forward to Densmore. And then look at that. Our keeper had no chance with that shot. What a result that was. What a first half performance. Wow. I might have just stumbled over a new magic tactic. It's either a tactic... Oh, it's a new haircut, which you might have noticed. I'm looking a little bit better. Not quite as beardy. But, yeah, what a result that was. 3-1. Altrinum can count themselves very unlucky. 33 shots, 9 on target, 54% of the ball. We only had 11 with 8 on target. But our striker and our attackers just woke up today. And finally decided to start playing well. And that was a beautiful performance. I'm going to go, that was really special. So that result puts us in 10th in the league. 20 games played, 27 points. We're now just 5 points off the playoffs. I really fancy us to get into the playoffs this year. I've got a very good feeling that we're going to get up there. And so, guys, that is where we are going to leave it for today. And I'll be back with you in another 10 games time. So I'm not sure when that is going to be. Another 10 league games, that is. So let's see. Who are we going to be playing against in 10 league games? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That works out really well. That's the start of February, and it's going to be Boston again. Do I bring you Boston, or do I bring you Blythe? What do you boys think? If you've made it this far in the video, let me know in the comments down below which one you would rather see, or even Farsley. Would you rather see Farsley, Boston again, or Blythe in the next video? Let me know in the comments section down below. But like I say... That is where we're going to leave it for today. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a mahoosive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more FM20 content, more Pro Evo content. I'm just about to go and record another Pro Evo one, I reckon. And, yep, and Planet Zoo. Either going to be doing Planet Zoo on streaming on here or on Twitch. Not made my mind up yet. Going to have to talk to the missus 
and see what she thinks because we're going to be doing that together. So, yep, yeah, guys, subscribe for all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming for all the news on the channel. And as well as that, please join the Passion for FM Discord and have a look at their website for some very good downloadable stuff. Graphics, filters, player, script, player views, all that sort of good stuff. I'm going to be putting the link to the website and the Discord down below. Come and get yourself involved. I'm always in there, so come and say hello. And yep, guys, I shall see you next time. Bye. Bye.